Hello, my name is Christian Palomares. I'm an applications engineer here at Microchip Technology for the Mixed Signal and Analog Division. This video will provide an overview of the MCP9601 and how to measure temperature with the MCP9601 evaluation board. The MCP9601 is a fully integrated thermocouple to temperature converter. The MCP9601 integrates the precision instrumentation, the cold junction compensation, the analog to digital conversion, and the math engine in the framework to support A standard thermocouple types. This is a true plug and play solution. To start, I will give a brief overview of what a thermocouple is. A thermocouple consists of two dissimilar wires joined at one end. The joint end is called the hot junction and is the temperature that is being measured. And the open end is a cold junction. The voltage potential is proportional to the temperature and is known as the Seebeck effect. The voltage change is in the range of tens of microvolts per degree Celsius. This requires precision instrumentation to accurately calculate the corresponding temperature at the hot junction. For the discrete solution, this requires many areas of design expertise. First, precision instrumentation circuitry is needed to accurately measure the microvolt level changes in the voltage at the cold junction. The voltage measure at the cold junction must then be converted from the analog domain to the digital domain for processing. In order to convert the measure of voltage into the hot junction temperature, one must accurately measure the temperature at the cold junction. Depending on the application, this can be accomplished by using thermistors, RTDs, or silicon-based temperature sensing devices. Lastly, each thermocouple type has a higher order equation that must be computed using the cold junction temperature and the voltage measure at the cold junction. The MCP9601 is a fully integrated device that eliminates the expertise required to design this complicated temperature measurement system. The MCP9601 integrates the precision instrumentation, the cold junction compensation, the analog to digital conversion, and the math engine in the framework to support A standard thermocouple types. Other useful integrated features are an integrated digital filter, various shutdown modes, four useful programmable temperature limits, and an open and short detection mechanism. Now let's take a look at the demo. So what are the tools and software required to be able to configure the evaluation board? Well, we need to make sure your PC has Windows 7 or up and Microchip's thermal management software graphical user interface. Both of them need to be either downloaded and installed or updated to the latest version. Then open the evaluation board kit and it comes with the MCP9601 thermocouple IC evaluation board, a type K thermocouple, a mini USB cable, and important documentation. Now let's move to the demo. So this is the MCP9601 demo board. You can see the MCP9601 right here, and it comes in a 5x5 QFN package. One thing to note is that it has many outside connector pins. This includes a 5 volt and a 3.3 volt pin, two ground pins, the SDA SCL pins for I2C, the open and short circuit detection pins, four alert outputs that are connected to the test points for external connections. Here you have a connector for the thermocouple and the board comes with a K-type thermocouple. So let's power up the evaluation board. To do that, begin by connecting the board from your computer to this mini USB connector. This USB connection is also needed for data acquisition. Once the board is connected and the USB is successfully enumerated, the thermal management graphical user interface window should pop up. So this is the user interface with all the different sensor options. Right here is where you will select the thermocouple type. K-type is selected and it has all the other options available as well. On the top left corner, we have the data acquisition options. The blue play, stop and reset icons can be used to perform continuous data acquisitions. The other two red icons enables the user to start recording and save data log to an external file. This data can also be exported by right clicking the plot and following the export options. The data acquisition chart has two Y axes. The one on the left side is a thermocouple temperature and the Y axis on the right side is a cold junction temperature. Then if I wanna do just a single update, I can click on the update sample button and it will give me a temperature reading. Over here in the registers, you can see the hot junction temperature, which will be the thermocouple. You can see the cold junction temperature, which will be the temperature sensor on the device, the integrated temperature sensor. And it will give you a calculation of the hot junction minus the cold junction for the delta between the two. 
and then it will also give you a measure value for the thermocouple in millivolts so it gives you that as well and then for the rest of the registers like the status register the sensor configuration and the device configuration they relate to the different features that you can set up in the GUI another feature you can set up the resolution for both the hot junction and the cold junction and those are programmable like I mentioned before you can also set up the filter resolution under this tab. You can set up the shutdown modes, the alert outputs, the alert limits, and the hysteresis. So for this video, I'm just going to do a graphical demonstration of how the digital filter feature operates. As you can see under the digital filter configuration, on the drop down menu, it has all the different selectable filter settings. It ranges from zero to seven. Zero means that the filter is off. 1 is minimal filtering, 4 is mid filter, and 7 is maximum filtering. Okay, let's turn the device on and press this red button on the top left corner to record the data acquisition. It's going to ask you where would you like to save this file. Just name it and save it to your machine. Again, we can see that red is a thermocouple, blue is a cold junction temperature or ambient temperature, Okay, perfect. Now I'm going to add some heat to the thermocouple. So we can see when the filter is off, the temperature sample is very bouncy. Then at level one, we cannot see the difference on the graph, but we can see it on the registers. Then when the filter is at mid level, you can see that the bounciness somewhat quiets down. And finally, when we set it to the maximum filter, which is seven, you can see the temperature reading is nice and smooth and still tracks the temperature changes. One of the useful features of using the GUI is that you can customize the graph. For example, I can add a table of values so we can see the previous hot junction and cold junction temperatures. So that's basically the thermocouple demo board. If you would like to learn more about the MCP9600-9601, please go to microchip.com and under documentation on our product page, you will find multiple tech briefs that go over all the different features more in depth. Thank you for watching.